Hi YouTubers, sorry it's been a while, as usual, very very busy and uh, not much has happened but the big thing that has happened is the forklift battery has gone and the two Tesla modules are in. Uh, we had a bit of a hectic day yesterday because we had to derig all of the forklift cells and then I've kind of just got this working for now. Um, just so that the house has power. Um, this is the second day, so I'm just programming all the parameters on the MPPT charge controllers. Setting the um, absorption charge voltage and the floating charge voltages. Uh, and that seems to be fine. They're throttling it back. Um, I've got the little BMS thing here so I can see what all the cells are doing. Um, for some reason that left hand one isn't working I've got all of the um, harness that I've wired up um, but for some reason the pin 5 on the Molex connector um, is putting out an incorrect voltage so I think there is something amiss there with the connection to the that particular series of cells which we will investigate at some point but for now they are passively balancing um, yes the bus bars I've covered one of them temporarily and before I box them in because I need to cut all of these cables down now order another new load of lugs and I'm going to get all of this uh, cabling uh, neatened up it seems to be every time I go to neaten it up I change the system but I think this time it will be um, uh, permanent and uh, I will cut everything to length and get it all conduits and uh, so this is just the test at the moment to see how um, the test the cells are performing which um, is a great feeling um, being able to go down to um, you know 18 19 volts if necessary but my inverter here which I might upgrade cuts off um, at 20 volts well, it's got two settings actually one's 21 volts and the other one's 20 volts so that's fine um, I think we'll be able to handle that um, not sure what inverter I'm going to go for yet I need to do a bit more research to see if I can get uh, the supplier not using China they're pretty good anyway to see if I can get the um, cutoff voltages programmable or at least get them to send me one uh, which is set at 18 volts um, something like that maybe 19 volts I haven't decided yet a bit more research to do but that will give me enough headroom anyway at least I'm not only using 50% of the battery then and using sort of 20% to 80% range um, I've got this charger which I'm going to connect up when I put the Victron relay in which isn't here actually it's in, indoors um, I've bought a BMV 712 Victron um, so I'm going to put the shunt in the middle there and then get it all boxed in get the negative side boxed in the positive side boxed in get the shunt in there get the um, BMV up and running and then I'm going to use the relay um, to trigger um, a system um, which will then um, if it's low voltage will then kick this charger in which is specially set um, at 24.2 uh, volts um, so that will only charge them up you know, probably about what 70-80% which is fine because I'm only going to need that in the winter when the batteries go down and then it will just top them up a bit but it won't charge them up full so yeah um, I might sort of, I'm gonna get, I've got some more wood here which I'm going to cut proper decent um, fronts out and then probably paint all of that once it's all conduited in so it all looks neat um, which will be a change because it's been like this for as you know for years um, but yeah so it's really strange this hot kind of spell in February um, climate change whether it's planetary or man-made it's happening um, the freezers are now all on and I've literally yeah I've literally just put so we're just at the end of February and I've literally just put everything back on to the to the solar um, now so 
yeah not much other news really i think what i'll do is i'll get the wiring checked out and to get this extra system here checked out this module uh, and then i'll put the shunt in um, and i may even get that videoed who knows if not i'll get it all in and then do another video so um yeah gonna help somebody else uh, on a houseboat who's um got the my old battery bank now and get him all installed and up and running so yeah anyone want any help with solar stuff i've got all the kit to do it and crimpers and everything like that so um just give me a shout at offgridsolaruk at gmail.com and we'll, we'll go from there and as usual i'll keep you updated on my system but no other worries everything else is working perfectly well so uh, all good okay we'll see you on the other side <laughs>